Hello there. Uh, my name is Tom Alpel, and I'd like to give you guys a quick introduction to my book, Botany in a Day, The Patterns Method of Plant Identification. In essence, related plants have similar characteristics for identification, and they often have similar uses. For example, in the mustard family, all mustard flowers have four petals with six stamens, four tall and two short. Now there are about 3,200 species of mustards around the world and they're all edible. So with that little bit of information you could go to Africa, Asia, Australia, anywhere in the world and find edible plants. Now to give you guys the super compressed version of Botany in the Day, we're going to turn to my children's book, Shanlea's Quest, A Botany Adventure for Kids, ages 9 to 99, and from this we'll play the card game, the Patterns and Plants card game. Okay, so the first family that we're going to look at is the mint family. And the key pattern for the mint family is that these, uh, the stems are square. They have square stems and opposite leaves. And so you'll see that on any of the mints that you find. And mints also tend to be very aromatic or minty. So the next pattern we're going to look at is the parsley family. And the distinctive pattern here is what we call a compound umbel. You can think of it as being a, a bit like an umbrella. That all of these spokes come off from a central point, And at the end of each one of those big spokes, you have another little umbrella or umbel. So because there are two sets, the, the, the big umbel and each of the little umbels, it's called a compound umbel, as you will see in each of these pictures here. Now some of these are great edibles, but there are also some very deadly plants in this parsley family, so that's an important thing to remember about the parsleys. Now the mustard family we introduced earlier, and the pattern here is that we have four petals with six stamens, four tall and two short. Now you won't be able to see the stamens in the pictures in the deck, but these are all of the four petaled flowers in the deck that make up the mustard family. So the next family I'd like to introduce is the pea family. And pea flowers are very irregular uh, in contrast to the mustard family that you have regular or symmetrical flowers. The peas are very asymmetrical or irregular. Now they also have distinctive petals. So we have one, a big one called the banner petal, then two on the side called the wing petals, and then the bottom one is the keel, kind of like the keel of a boat. And you can see that if you look closely at these pea blossoms, you'll see the banner, the wings, and the keel. If you look real close at the clover, you'll see here that it is made up of many very tiny pea blossoms, and each one has its own banner, wings, and keel. Now the lily family looks like it has six petals, but in actuality there are two overlapping layers here. So the first layer is the sepals, the second layer is the petals, and they are identical in size and color, which makes it look like there are six petals. And you'll see that in each of the lilies. There are some good edibles in the lilies, but there are also some highly poisonous plants as well. Now you might not think of the grasses as being flowers because they don't have the showy petals, but that's because they're wind pollinated. They don't depend on insects to pollinate them, uh, so they don't waste the energy producing the petals that, uh, that other flowers do. But they do have stamens and pistils like, um, like other flowers. So these are some samples from the grass family. Now the pattern of the rose family is that roses have five petals and numerous stamens. And so you see that in the pictures here, we have five petals and lots of little stamens in the middle. Now the last family I'd like to introduce right now is the aster family. These are composite flowers where basically you have a whole bunch of little flowers working together to make what looks like one big flower. 
In fact, if you look real close, you can see that these are in fact little five-petaled flowers inside the middle of the flower. Now, if you think of like a sunflower in your garden, it's like there's a big disc and the individual flowers are planted on that disc, almost like flowers in a garden, and each flower produces a single seed. So we have in the middle, we have disc flowers, and then on the outside we have what we call ray flowers. So each one of these things that we'd normally think of as petals is actually a flower in itself where the petals have fused together and flopped over to one side. And you can see that in each of the flowers here, that we have disc flowers in the middle and ray flowers on the outside. And then in this one, in the thistle, we have all disc flowers but no ray flowers, whereas in the dandelion, we have all ray flowers but no disc flowers. I think for starters, we'll just do a, a practice run through the deck and I'll just turn them up and you guys can tell me what they are. P. P. Parsley. 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 Lily? Mustard. 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 Rose. 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 Lily? Aster. Rose. Grass. Grass. Bee. Bee. Oh, I was just going to do a straight memory game. If you guys want to join us, just squeeze in, kick somebody out, whatever you need to do. <laughs> Jump on top. I'm, looking at, I'm probably looking at it wrong. Alright, so that's a mustard, I think. And that's a pea. <laughs> okay, I'll call that a rose. <laughs> and I think that's a rose too. Very good. That was pure luck. <laughs> Uh-uh. No. <laughs> What's that one? Gotcha. Good try. That's an aster, and that's a mustard. All right. I set somebody else up, though. <laughs> Good job. Once we've been through the basics, then we go through a little faster stuff, like slap flower. It's uh, kind of fun, so... Flowers, which is a lot like crazy ants. 